Hey guys, Jeremy here with Lifted Adventures. Today, we're talking about mountain biking shoes. Not these. Friends don't let friends bike in Crocs. So what I've been mountain biking in are these. They're just regular skateboarding shoes that I had laying around in the garage. Um, they are flat bottom. Um, they're a little tougher on the bottom, but they are very padded. Some of y'all might mountain bike in sneakers, tennis shoes, running shoes. That's fine. Just get out and ride. So, but these are what I had laying around and I decided I was going to upgrade a little bit and look into getting some mountain biking shoes. Now, I'm not one to spend a lot of money on shoes. Um, that's my wife. I like to, you know, save money and see what I can do. So I started searching for lower priced ones than some of them out there. So as I'm searching, I searched through some forums and came across a known name, but not known in the mountain biking world. A buddy of mine works for this company and sent me a pair of these shoes to try out and have and do a review on. They are Vans. Um, some of y'all might know these, some of y'all might understand and uh, uh, realize that these are biking shoes. These are the Vans Ultra Kush HDs. Um, they are the BMX model. Um, so not mountain bike specific by any means. Um, however, they do have fantastic grip. Um, they are made for pedals. And in fact, they even have a uh, guard, I guess you can call it, um, a guard for your pedal um, to, uh, to hold up and make it stronger, I guess. Um, I am a child of the 90s, so when I saw these, I was super pumped about them with the retro checkered uh, style on them, and uh, they look awesome. They feel great. Um, now, they are, um, like I said, for BMX, so they shouldn't be made to take a full beating that uh, mountain biking shoes would take out on the dirt and uh, rocks and everything. They are made for BMX bikes. However, in the past four weeks that I've been riding with them, uh, almost on a daily basis, and then uh, weekends going out to hard trails, um, these have held up um, really, really good. Um, they're strong, they have good support in them, um, they, they're not too soft. I feel the pedal underneath me and I'm able to move some, but they are stiff enough that I'm, I'm not losing my grip, I'm not losing my pedal power, and they have really good grip on the bottom of them. They have what's called the wafer cup um, underneath them. I uh, adjusted the shoelaces just to match my uh, personality, um, but they're holding up great, they feel great, they look super cool, and uh, they match my, uh, my style perfectly. Now, are they gonna hold up to full force mountain bike shoes? Probably not. These run about $75 online. Um, full mountain bike shoes, you're going to spend over $100, $150, up to $200, maybe even more. Um, these are not mountain bike specific shoes. They are BMX, they're for biking. They're gonna do better than your sneakers or your flat bottom skateboard shoes. Um, I'm enjoying them, I'm gonna ride them until they break apart and then we'll go from there and see what happens. But these are awesome, I'm super pumped about them. They're comfortable, uh, they look awesome and I'm enjoying them. But yeah, there you have it. Um, the BMX style van shoes. Uh, can be a use for mountain biking shoes, but like I said before, use whatever you have. Just make sure it's not uh, a pair of a pair of Crocs uh, or open toe sandals or sandals period or uh, anything or ballet shoes or uh, barefoot. Um, make sure you got something on your feet. Sneakers will work. Um, you use whatever you guys got and everything and have that. Just enjoy the ride and enjoy mountain biking and get out there and ride. Um, like I say every time guys, make sure you lift up God, lift up life, lift up the adventure, get out there, make your own adventures, get some cool shoes, and uh, or use whatever you have, just ride, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later, love ya, God bless.